some of our traditional circumcision, circumcision graduation ceremonies happen all the time around the country. Earlier on today in Kitangela, 37 young adults from around the country graduated in a new modernized way after one month boys to men transition. The transition from childhood to adulthood. It's not an easy journey for these 37 boys aged between 13 and 17 who went through the life-changing experience. Graduating in a modernized circumcision ceremony conducted by Emo, a Kalenjin social and cultural foundation. Performed in a discreet location away from the city, the boys undergo intense training for one month. Training this, the boys on the transition to adulthood is supposed to be done in seclusion, away from family, away from home. Okay, So this place we pick because it gives us a humble ground a humble venue and away from the city. The training is aimed at making them strong enough to endure challenges in adulthood. At the end of the training, the adults match hand in hand with their fathers dressed in modern red and black uniforms, chanting traditional songs, while their mothers on the other side matching towards them, chanting a different tune. They finally meet and what happens next is the handover process. The mothers present bundles of flowers as they hug them. The chief trainer leads the graduation ceremony. These young adults have now transformed from boys to men, warriors, ready to face the world's challenges as men. They gave us as boys, we are giving them back as men. The alternative rite of passage has been on for several years now, and leaders from the Kalenjin community have been in the forefront encouraging parents to have their children go through this modern circumcision. As the Kalenjin keep their long-lived tradition alive, one thing is for certain, a man is not a man unless he's gone through the cut. Charity Kimani, KTN.